Okay, guys, this is a kit that is up for grabs. Um, this one is called Dashing. Um, and you'll see why when I show you the front cover of the book, because it looks like the image, you're not sure if the, the figure is actually dashing to love or from love. It's just very, very difficult to tell. And it's open for interpretation. Okay, so this kit has the... Uh, and this is going to go really quickly because um, this is, I think, one of my smaller end kits. I'm not sure, but there's, you know, there's enough to play around with, with, but it's not overwhelming. Some of my kits can be quite overwhelming because, you know, that's that's just how I do it. Um, here's some eyelash trim with pom-poms, raffia, and some red and white baker's twine. And I've got a couple of glassine bags in here, the tiny ones. I've got some pretty, 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 pretty seam binding. And that's in sort of a yellowish gold. And there's some of Marcia's beautiful sari silk. And um, again, I'll say this throughout the whole Valentine series. If you purchase one of my kits, she'll give you 20% off in her shop. All right. If you buy $5 or more and you can get the coupon code from me. Um, there's some little roses. And I will put a charm and some buttons in there. Um, actually, let's do that now so that I don't forget because I'm liable to forget. I'm liable to forget different things. Okay, here's some Brad. Here's a Brad I'll stick in there. And a bell. And look at this itty bitty, witty bitty, tiny little key. You hold the key to my heart. And let me see if I can find a heart charm. Mm. Let's see here, guys. <sighs> okay, here we go. There's one. And that's really pretty. It looks kind of gothic, but I think that's pretty. Well, if my camera wants to focus, it does what it wants to when it wants to. There we go. That's a pretty little heart. And I think that's appropriate for um, love in terms of dashing to or from. And guys, again, you'll have to forgive my fingers. They're, they've got little um, cuts from papers and, sciz you know, holding scissors and twirl um, what do you call it? Twirling ribbon and things like that. So... Okay, so there's that. And now, while we're on camera, let's put in some buttons, some loose ones. Um, let's see, there's one there. <clears throat> this book is a vintage book, so, um, but I'm very careful not to. <clears throat> overwhelm the kits with the same items over and over and over because that's kind of pointless if you're new to my channel hello and welcome and thank you for stopping in um i've got roughly i did a 20 um vintage valentine kit whoops sorry guys i did a 20 uh vintage valentine kit series and i'm winding down to the last ones i think those are pretty guys right Yes, yes. Okay. There are those. So, um, and I recycle and scavenge. I'm a scavenger. <laughs> I have even dumpster dived for books, old books that were headed to the landfill. Um, that's my thing. That's what I do. Okay. So this one is called Dashing. And again, um, you'll see why I call it that when you see the book cover. This time I left this uh, remnant sort of long ways this way so there's a big piece of that a uh, cupid um uh fabric upholstery in there and here's some pretty very large wide tall pink lace um that's just gorgeous so you get that and there is that lavender lace and two pretty pink laces here and I'm going to make up for time by showing you them at the same time. There we go. So those are pretty. And those are in there. And there's a piece of modern um, wire burlap. Um, and this comes uh, from 
the Dollar Tree. And I don't usually, I don't, I shouldn't even say usually, I mostly do not, like 98.5% never shop in mass stores for my product. Um, I find things out um, in Goodwills and bins and estate sales, but I had to have that for these kits because I thought it was so pretty. Um, and sometimes it's nice to support, um, you know, the, the local little stores, the little guys for the most part. There's some old um, estate fine fabric there. And then you also get this piece here. And it's got a little heart down in there. There's a little die cut heart. And there's that piece there. And that's really cool for tucking things in. Um, here are some buttons that are in this kit and they're on their original packaging. They are vintage. And they are, um, they're, they're really cute because they have little flowers on them. So those are fun. And I'll put those over there. Here is the skein of um, floss. And it's in sort of a fuchsia color. It's 100% cotton. And there's some little hearts, a heart, one heart sticker. That's modern. Um, <clears throat> there's some little heart stickers that are modern. And here's a vintage piece of fabric um, that um, I think is beautiful for a front cover. And I used all of this um, fabric for these kits, for the 20 uh, Valentine's kits. There's a remnant of some pink and mauve. And then there are some pink floral pieces here. Okay. So that's the fabric for this kit. Um, and then for the paper part of it, this is a smaller kit. So this is one that um, probably, if it's not sold um, soon, I will likely do like a bidding, like where you can put a price in that you think the kit is worth. And, um, you know, and just kind of go for it and see what happens. Okay, there is a large ledger piece of paper. This is from 1952. Large map page. Avocado dyed paper. Tea dyed, coffee dyed paper. Avocado. Avocado. Tea paper. Coffee paper coffee music paper you are our living bread and the pattern papers that I scavenge for rustic red soft purple and ivory pink pink copy paper a large sheet of vintage estate fine tablet paper with lots of beautiful patina and grunge yellow natural uh, music paper I believe in German here is a cupid don't put your foot in my face dear um, music paper and it's got a lot of cute little cupids at the top um, <clears throat> and some heart images and some little diablos or devil little devils um, and there's that and there's some flowers and another little cupid there. A different music paper. Love this page. Um, look at the music flow, the notes, um, how they flow um, in terms of visually. Um, so that's got all kinds of mirror fingering, symmetrical patterns, uh, parallel motion fingering. Um, it's almost as if the <laughs> um, the visual of the notes is sort of I'm Im imagining go with the flow of of the sounds that are supposed to be. Um, you know, keyed out on the piano or organ or whatever one is playing. Here is some pink and some blue, and that's vintage planner paper. Love that stuff. More music paper from a different book. No titles, but it does have some words like sweeter than this, days pour out the words today and the night, tonight in parts, all of the earth, their voice resounds. 
Um, this here is some beautiful poetry and lovely image of two happy people. And there's some roses and some red hearts, some chocolates. And there's a, um, I love this book page. This is an old children's music book <clears throat> that they used in school textbook. Um, the Round of Seasons, and I love that image there. I think it's so pretty. Um, here's another image of two little kids, um, you know, thinking about dating. Uh, let's see, there's some coloring book, adult coloring book. And here is a music paper that's very different from any I've shown recently, The True Lover's Farewell. And I put this in here because remember, the front of the cover, um, the figure either is running to love or from love, I imagine. He's dashing for it or <laughs> running away from it. I'm not sure. Um, that's some old vintage um, uh, stamp book paper, music paper. Jenny with the light brown hair, and if you can see this little chick here skipping along the way, very, very cute, grungy vintage, invoice, a heart, poetry, a buggy, dictionary, and there's two lovers there. She's got the rose, but he's looking pretty frustrated. There's a pink um, vintage from a church, strawberries, um, milk chocolate crunches, brownies, recipe paper. And here are, um, here's a cute little family kind of uh, musing over the animal here. Mascotas. Look at that image. That's pretty interesting. I'm going to work on another insect uh, kit pretty soon, a pink fuchsia um, bag, uh, because the last insect kit I made was so much fun, and the images were just great, um, and so, I don't know, maybe summertime, who knows when I have the time. Um, this is dictionary page, different from the other dictionary papers, and there's two lovers there, and this guy's um, Preguntón. He's being nosy. He's nosy. Metiche. Nosy. <clears throat> and let's see. This is really cute, guys. I love this image. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> love the curtains. Love her, uh, you know, her slip and uh, what do you call those? The stockings that go up to her past your knee. The um, hosiery. I don't know what you call it, but you guys know what I mean. Um, and you know, it's, it's just a great image. I love it. Um, is the lover dashing away from her and leaving her or is her lover, you know, surprising her and showing up and, you know, I don't know, but that fits the book and the, my version of this theme. And I only sort of tentatively put these themes just so I can remember what the books are because there's 20 kits, um, and to name them in my Etsy store, um, that's, some uh, numbers and scales i got that from diane thank you diane um there are uh, immortal lovers poetry um there's some beautiful handwriting book page um there are two people there i think that's uh robert and elizabeth browning if i'm not mistaken or a story written by one of them it says the immortal lovers popcorn bag popcorn bag some uh, poetry, imagination and taste, how impaired and restored. And that's got original handwriting on it. That's word, Wordsworth's um, poetry. That's a book I found in a thrift store or in one of the bazaars I frequent. Sonnets, Shakespeare. This is, um, I put this in here for the red lettering and handwriting. Um, even though it's a sports book, I think it you could easily uh, turn some of these uh, words and paragraphs into uh, being collage pieces um, in a uh, Valentine journal. Um, that, that's just a copy piece that of one of my books I got rid of a long time ago. A writing paper in pink and white. Invoice. This cutie. Some are most exotic. 
and the little hearts and the edges and the corners. That's from a Valentine's, a uh, very vintage old uh, Hallmark um, booklet. Two coffee dyed envelopes and this beautiful little vintage postcard. It's an estate find. And this old piece <clears throat> is Campus Window Shopper. And there's a couple of cute girls there and some guys. And then the inside, it says swing. And there's one of those old vintage, uh, oh man, guys, I think that's probably like the 70s, maybe. Yeah, 70s radios. And then there's some cool looking glasses. Change your outlook um, with your outfit. And I don't know, do you have to do that for love? Who knows? And there's some pretty pink and blue there. And a writing paper. This is modern. The, the more I know you, the more I like you. Uh, Burns Poetry. Um, this is um, an old map page, page or piece. <clears throat> Vintage book pages. A message pad piece. A skinny envelope. And a heart in pink and white. And these are just uh, pieces from my collection that I have, but I I let this stuff go. These originals are in one of these kits somewhere, um, but I did copy some of them, scan some of them so that I could share at least the images. You can sew this and the quality of the print is very good, um, but you can sew that on a card and turn it into a writing journal or journal card. The Tempest, um, Shakespeare, and is he dashing away and leaving her? Or is he um, coming back and he's planning to surprise her later? So, I don't know. What do you think? She's looking pretty shocked and sad. Um, let's see. Book page. Um, that one's called... That's got some poetry on it. Henry VIII. Poetry. And book page. Um... This is actually from the book, and there's the figure there, um, either fleeting or arriving. And this book is dated um, 1929. Okay, so there's that, and there's some more pages to it. And there's another image. This is one of my um, coffee dyed index cards, and I love this color, this teal and blue when the uh, lines sort of mailed, um, sort of melt away on the page um, with the coffee, but still are intact for you to write. Um, these, the index cards, the ink varies like that. Like some of the cards don't do that and some do. And that's just a copy of an old card I got rid of a long time ago. It was so pretty, but I did manage to copy it scan it um this is a, a original and guess who sends this gift to you guess who heard guess whose heart is ever true guess who wants forever to be your valentine i think that is so charming and adorable and that's um from the 1920s and it is signed on the back and canceled um it's an original and it's cute so there's that and there's some um old sears and roebuck book pages I got those two of those books from an estate sale and from time to time I will purchase and support my Etsy uh, peeps my camrods on Etsy uh, if you have an Etsy shop I love stopping by your shop and giving you some hearts and views and promoting you um, and pinning some of your um, items and tweeting some of them and and um, I don't Facebook um, but I love to do that. So um, from time to time, I purchase from my, my fellow Etienne's. And I think that's where this came from. But it's just adorable. And there's Heidi. And she's crying. Has he fleeted from her? Has he left her? Or, I don't know. Is he going to surprise her? Who knows? There's two lovers, lovers there saying goodbye. Doesn't look like he's fleeting or she's fleeting. Looks like they're just saying goodbye temporarily. <laughs> okay, writing paper. Um, book page from a different book. This is a Henry David Thoreau. Um, here's a vintage antique um, doll, a paper doll piece. Um, guest check. This cute little piece here. And it is signed on the back. Guess who? 
ephemera ephemera I made that mm -hmm. and this little train station um, little train here this guy's adorable um, and so I thought that would be really cute to put in here I'm getting steamed up for you my Valentine so 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 cute you could even you know cut some of these pieces out like this piece here and put in a baby's book of sorts or just cut that out for an actual uh, Valentine's kit is it signed on the back yeah 1953 it says I love that that's so cute pink and red a uh, bingo card um, recipe cards in uh, browns here's a pink cute envelope it's simple but very relevant in a valentine journal hard to find that kind of stuff sometimes i swear um some cards <clears throat> here's an old vintage um card of um he's got his hands around her waist that's from the 20s i think 20s or 30s i think and i had a ton of these um there's some tags this is purchased from an etsy store a long time ago a pink index card, a vintage erase eraser for the board. These are from the 80s. And another bingo card in red. The specialist, that's an old game piece. Um, you can see right there. And some tickets and some die cuts. These are contemporary. I got these in a haul because I, I scavenge around for my um, pattern paper. I don't buy new pattern paper. So sometimes I get lucky and I did a haul video on the, these uh, die cuts. Um, so here's a queen and a magic a master magician. Can you make the lady love you or the guy? <laughs> I don't know. Can you? Um, <clears throat> there's a peach uh, paint chip modern, of course game piece another vintage uh, card and this one has a letter on it there's crying kathy has he fleed it from her i don't know has he there's one of my avocado dyed um tiny tiny itty bitty envelopes here is a purple um states avenue money vintage 1980s um i shouldn't say the 80s is vintage right because i don't know i consider people born in the 80s still very young um <laughs> uh let's see this is a um 80s right uh file folder sticker tab thingies you know what i mean there's some of those inchy squares great for tabs those are wonderful for tabs i imagine on the sides of your books money flashcard money and a five of hearts it's in there for this side not that side and here's the book and you can see that it's embossed with that figure. Um, <clears throat> there are the two figures there. And it came away beautifully. Again, when you're gutting books, you know, it does require a lot of patience um, in doing so to be successful and not ripping or cutting into the spine. But most of you are so, you know, you're skilled enough to where you can rebuild the spine if you do that. Okay, so that's dashing, guys, and I will be back with more kits. Bye. Orale pues.